So I wanted to make a sandwich today, and I've got these really good, yeah, ciabatta rolls from Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna make one of those. Just need some cheese, some meat. And maybe a bit of uh, lettuce. And you know what? I was thinking butter, but I'm gonna go with mustard today on the sandwich. All right, let's just get a cutting board. So one thing I've paid attention more with bread is the ingredients, right? Um, Cause I've been, I've been noticing, you know, sometimes you buy bread and like, you know, this is the ingredients list. It's like this long and it's like, what even is in my food? You know, like expeller pressed canola oil, all this like weird chemicals and oils. And when it comes to bread, I mean, this one, this one's a little bit long because this bread has like poppy seeds, different kinds of garlic, onion on top. But most of the time, bread should just be like a few items. You know, like bread is not complicated to make. So consider that a red flag if you ever, you know, you're buying bread and you don't even know what's in it. Like it's usually because they want to have a lot of preservatives in it to, to make it not spoil. You know, that is definitely convenient, but at the cost of your, your health, I don't know if that's worth it, man. All right, so we'll just, you know, put a little mustard on there. You know, I watched a video from Ethan Shilblowski. I don't know how you say his name, but he's a really big culinary YouTuber, and he was explaining everything about how you make a really good sandwich, like all the the moisture and the, you know, all the different ins and outs. And I'm like, dude, it's, <laughs> I'm not fancy, all right? I, I feel like most people don't, oh shit, don't have the time or the interest to make like a, like he was using like, get bread from from your local baker. And it's like, yeah, that sounds great, but like, <laughs> I don't have time for that. So, you know, I, I keep it really simple. I just, you know, get a couple slices of, what is this, provolone? Yeah, this is provolone. And I just, you know, spread the mustard with it. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so peasant-like when it comes to my food. I, I really don't want to keep it, I don't want to make it complicated. And then this meat, I'm going to be honest, dude. I, I'm going to talk about health a lot with food. This is probably not the healthiest way to eat meat. Um, you know, it is like put in this like plastic container and like it is probably a little bit processed. But I can't find any other really cost-effective, simple way to get sliced meat. So I just go with this. But, you know, like not everything has to be like perfectly health optimized, you know. I understand that it's kind of unrealistic to completely eliminate plastic or, or all this kind of stuff, but try to avoid super unhealthy things. That's my motto. All right, and then just, you know, a little bit of lettuce. It's really, really quite a simple sandwich. This bag, I really should take the lettuce out of the bag because this is such a Neanderthal way of doing it, but it looks good enough. Smash it on top. Oh. Yeah, looks pretty good, right? Now this is not everything that I eat with lunch. I also have other side items, if you will. And usually my go-to item for sandwiches is a nice apple. And this is actually something I wanna, I wanna teach you. All right, so we got like a nice apple, right? Looks, looks nice, it's a little bit on the small side, but whatever. A lot of the time though, apples are kind of coated with wax. And I mean, obviously you can't feel it, but there's like a distinct like waxy sheen to this apple. And I guess it's, again, to like protect it as they ship it in and all that, but like who the hell wants to be eating a waxy apple? So my mom gave me this, and we've used it for a long time, it's veggie wash. So you just kind of spray, you know, your fruit or whatever, you know, it's not just apples, you can use vegetables, blueberries, you know, anything you really want. And then you just kind of rub it around. You have a really good wash too, because this, I mean, it is a chemical at the end of the day. <laughs> you don't want to be drinking veggie wash now. And now, I mean, you might even be able to hear it, as I like rub my fingers across and like the wax is gone. So now we can actually eat it. Cause I mean, we don't want to be eating that nasty ass wax, right? There we go. And then just get a plate. And then no apple for me is complete without peanut butter. So let me just get a little bit of that. All right, let's, let's just clean this up real quick. There you have it. Nice, simple lunch, huh? All right, let's eat.
one point that I wanted to emphasize again was when I mentioned that, you know, the meat that I'm eating might not be like the most perfectly packaged. It might have like, you know, the plastics in there and it's not like 100% healthy. I, I don't want anyone to look at health conscious content and maybe things that I'll say and be like, got to go for it 100%. If you screw up at all, then you're uh, like, you're not doing it right, basically. And one thing I thought about just now was we use this uh, reverse osmosis water filter because, you know, tap water is pretty shitty. And I was like, you know what? We got to have clean drinking water. We don't want any chemicals, any, any weird shit in our, in our water, right? But when I'm washing the apple of the, the veggie wash, I'm like washing it in tap water. And then it's like, oh, well, is that ruining it? I don't know. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I just feel like it's, it's healthier when you try to approach food and, and your health with like, I'm going to try my best with the things that I have. But, you know, when it comes to like plastics, for example, we all know that plastic is bad for you, microplastics in your food. But like, what is the average person supposed to do when you go to the grocery store and everything is wrapped in plastic? Like, I can't find any meat or vegetables or fruit that is not wrapped in some sort of plastic. So it's like, I mean, I can't do anything about that. So just don't beat yourself up over it. It's basically what I'm saying. Like, do your best. But like, I remember watching a Hamza video one time where he talked about the idea of going to your local butcher and getting them to wrap your meat in like um, paper wrap or going to a farmer's market and getting like a, a paper container full of your blueberries or something. It's like, yeah, it's nice. But, but I mean, I think it goes without saying that most people do not have either the resources, the money, or the proximity to locations like that. And I mean, I'm sure if I tried really hard and looked for a local farmer's market in my area, I could maybe find stuff that's in like a, a paper container. But I feel like you need to choose your battles wisely of like what's worth your time. Because I mean, plastic is probably pretty bad for you, but it's like no amount of choosing paper containers over plastic containers will make the fact that you don't exercise any less of a problem, right? Like, I, I hate it when people look at health as like this, like everything is in equal proportions where like, I mean, you could eat the most plastic free BPA free diet you could imagine. But if you don't exercise at all, then like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't want anyone to think that there's like a magic pill solution. And that if you do this thing, but you neglect this other thing, then your health is going to be fine. No, it's a it's a holistic thing where there's many different things and not everything is worth the same amount of time. And like the most actionable thing that most people probably could do for their health out of anything like, you know, plastic versus paper is just go to the gym or not even the gym, but like go for some walks, you know, go, go outside, do, do something for your physical fitness. Because I mean, cause that's what everything comes back to eventually. If you don't, if you don't keep your body fit or if you, um, like, like if you just sit inside all day or if you don't lift weights, your, your, your muscle literally atrophies over time if you don't use it. Like it's a literal use it or lose it kind of thing. And I mean, yeah, it would be great if everyone started eating healthy and buying $12 blueberries from Whole Foods. That's nice, but let's focus on the fundamental things that are probably going to have a much bigger impact on your health. That's, what, that's my point. All right, that was good. I mean, little scraps left, but... It's probably fine. You know, I bought some stuff for chili this week, um, like some beef and beans and salsa. So I might make a video about that soon. And I know a lot of people were asking about the banana bread recipe. Um, it's just something we found online. So when we run out of that, we still have to eat the rest of it that we cooked. Then we, we might make a, another banana bread video. But anyways, I'll catch you later.